Alright guys, welcome back. Today we're looking at the Bone Shaker from DOD. The DOD is owned by Harman and uh, they're a big company, Harman International. They own JBL, Digitech, Harman Kardon and so on. So they are a big company, but they bought out DOD a few years ago. Um, DOD um, basically they're saying they're still designing them in the USA and they still have their uh, address as uh, being in Utah so uh, that's their helpline center so who knows but uh, anyway it is made in China and that is controversial um, about you know products made in China versus made in USA and the quality and so on um, but that's the reality of uh, guitar gear is a lot of companies are now making their products overseas in order to compete for the price point and whatnot. So, um, but that's a whole nother video for that. This pedal was made in 2015 and, uh, they average about 50 bucks, um, anywhere from, I saw it was low as 35 on sale up to 80. Um, but very inexpensive pedal um, and they're not rare you can find them all over the place um, anyway the reason I wanted to get this pedal is uh, it has a parametric EQ now I am not an expert on sound and parametric EQs I did look it up on the internet and then it's very deep and complicated and there's plenty of videos on parametric EQ and what all that is about but it's pretty deep um but basically you know it great gives you greater uh, control and focus of the equalization um and uh you know but for me i'm i'm not a real technical guy i just like to have fun and twist the knobs and see what happens so that's what we'll do um but basically in a basic sense uh, parametric EQ it gives you the ability to sweep the focus and of the frequency of the bass middle and treble so three band parametric EQ and uh, so you can sweep the focus of the bass frequencies for example and then you can boost the level of how much of that frequency um, but this is only a semi parametric EQ it does not have a Q control, which is adjusts the width of the band frequency. So that's an additional control. I don't think this has, but this is already pre-focused to a pretty narrow band of Q, which gives it uh, a lot of focus for guitar sounds. Um, but anyway, like I said, that's a whole nother video. Um, but we will go through the knobs and we will see how we can adjust the sounds and uh, go from there. So anyway, yeah, pretty fun and interesting pedal. So we'll take a look. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, we're gonna check this pedal out and see what it can do. Um, here's my clean signal. Um, this pedal is supposed to be designed for detuned guitars or low guitars, hence the name bone shaker so it's for bassy stuff i suppose and some people wrote on the internet that uh you can use it for bass guitar too so we'll give that a try later um but anyway uh i'm tuned to standard tuning but drop c so everything is tuned two steps down <laughs> So it's just clean and dry. The level control on this is very powerful. So at uh, nine o'clock, it's basically unity gain. The depth control, the middle top here, is um, supposed to adjust the bass frequencies 
and it says in the instructions that it's only uh, 5% difference in the bass frequencies so they said it's very subtle so it's basically a knob that does nothing <laughs> in my opinion but uh, we'll adjust it anyway but anyway it's at 12 o'clock distortion we'll just start it at zero and move the distortion and sweep it up and I'll put everything at 12 o'clock for the EQ and each EQ has two knobs the out knob outside knob adjusts the frequency focus point or sweep and then the inside knob focuses the level or boost of that frequency so you got low mids and highs and uh, you can basically twiddle those knobs all day long but I'll just do a couple of examples and call it a day but anyway let's see how it sounds this is the clean signal here and the distortion is turned down all the way right now just turn it up to about 12 o'clock. I'll turn the distortion more. It's up to uh, 3 o'clock. the distortion up higher gets a little bit noisy there Try the depth knob, see if we can tell anything. Depth all the way down. Depth all the way up. It sounds a tiny bit deeper and bassier, which is fine, so I'll just leave the depth up. I like it that way. So. It's very trebly, high, almost piercing distortion. But I suppose that's to give you more clarity when you're playing detuned or drop tuned. So it sounds very bright, very brittle. Anyway, distortion up high. All right, I like it all the way up anyway. And the lower setting. Kind of like a low overdrive. I got this pedal to play metal, so I like the distortion pretty much all the way up. But now, all well, the knobs are at 12 o'clock, so let's try uh, scooped mids. Take the mids out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Sounds really scoopy. Now we'll boost the bass up. Turn up the bass. Yeah, 
That's pretty cool. And then uh, crank up some more treble. So really cool scooped mids there, but let's do the opposite and tame the bass and treble and let's pump up the mids, see what happens there, just for fun. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool to me, I don't know. It's not bad, not bad at all. I think I like the bass pumped up. Take the mids down a little bit and uh, pump up that bass and it's really... Really focus the bass. Treble does needs to be turned down a little. Treble's pretty trebly. Not bad. You can really uh, spend all day just twiddling those knobs, and that's pretty fun. So, yeah, not bad. Very. I'm not sure if this is an analog or digital pedal. I I couldn't find out any information on it. I looked inside, opened it up, had little two little IC chips and a couple of transistors. So, I don't know if that's digital or or analog. But if anyone knows. Go ahead and leave a comment. Um, you know, it's not bad. It's not great. It has kind of a brittle tone. And uh, like my other analog pedals kind of sound a little bit warmer and crunchier. Um, but for certain applications or certain metal type riffs, I think this pedal could be fun. And you can maybe use it for recording parametric EQ. It's pretty neat. And... Uh, I could spend hours just messing with the knobs, but uh, it's kind of cool how you can tell the sound differences there. But uh, anyway, uh, we'll check it out with the bass and uh, see how that sounds. All right, so I think the secret weapon on this one is to use it for your bass. So let's check it out. Got myself a bass, P bass, play with a pick like Lemmy. Got the distortion on, uh, depth all the way up, distortion, 9 o'clock, level 3 o'clock, and I uh, got the bass pumped up, mid pumped up, I got everything pumped up, treble pumped up, everything pumped up, it sounds pretty cool, let's check it out.
that sounds pretty pretty devastating <laughs> harsh so yeah it's fun noisy but who knows you might be able to do something with that but it's not for everybody it might not even be for me i'm not even sure if i like it but hey it's fun and uh definitely can do some stuff but who knows well guys to sum up it's i don't know it's just an okay pedal it, it, i think that the fundamental distortion sound is kind of harsh and not my favorite but uh you know it, it has some uses and uh it is kind of fun to play with you can get some okay tones out of it um but to be honest i probably will be trading this in for something else um but uh you know it's fun good marketing on their part uh I forgot to mention the Black Arts collaboration. Uh, Black Arts, they're a company out of Tennessee, I believe, and they are vint, uh, boutique uh, pedal company. Their pedals average around $300, um, but uh, they apparently were supposed to be involved in the design of this pedal, but who knows. Um, but yeah, it's an okay pedal, um, but uh, kind of, you know, it, like it has that harsh distortion i don't know if people you know if they like that or they want that kind of crystally ice picky clarity but uh yeah what can you do what can you say you know sometimes you get what you pay for usually you get what you pay for so just okay i guess i don't know three out of five stars so yeah uh the jacks and the switches are pretty solid and it's made out of solid aluminum but the knobs are not too they're kind of wiggly um, but not too bad so the build quality is decent for the price and they are very inexpensive so I can't really complain about the price but uh, you know some people say it's made in China crap but uh, you know, people like me, we're on a budget. So anyway, thank you for watching. Hope I see you again very soon.